We expected just one, but Webb revealed at least three galaxies forming a cosmic knot around this quasar, a super bright region at the center of a galaxy powered by a supermassive black hole. One of Webb's promises was to use quasars to unlock the secrets of the early universe. Why quasars? That's because they are some of the oldest, most distant, most massive, and brightest objects in the universe. Now, Webb has just peered at a group of galaxies merging together and swirling around an odd red quasar that existed 11 and a half billion years ago. Its red color makes it very special. First, the quasar is unusually red because of its intrinsic red color, but also because its host galaxy's light has been redshifted, meaning its light has been stretched into longer infrared wavelengths by its vast distance. And Webb is the perfect machine for this mission due to its super sensitivity in infrared wavelengths. Previous data from the Hubble telescope, like this image here, show extended material surrounding this quasar. But with Webb's near-spec instrument, scientists finally mapped the motions of the material, surprisingly enough, discovering a whole cluster of galaxies. The findings were brought by Johns Hopkins University and an international team, and will increase our understanding of how ancient galactic clusters came together and formed the cosmic web we see today. The cosmic web is the collection of massive filaments of galaxies separated by giant cosmic voids. The team confirmed at least three galactic companions to this quasar, but archival data from Hubble hint that there may be even more. By the way, here's the name of the quasar. Of course, I'm not going to read that. The galaxies around the quasar are literally in a collision course. Billions of years in the future, they will merge into one and look entirely different. The same might have happened with our own Milky Way early in its lifetime. The galaxies are moving extremely fast, meaning an enormous amount of mass is present, and the team believes this could be one of the densest known areas of galaxy formation in the early universe. Such massive galaxy swarms were probably very common in the early universe. Astronomer Domenica Villazalek of Heidelberg University in Germany, who led the study with Webb, suggests we could be seeing a region where two massive halos of dark matter are merging together. For those that don't know, dark matter is a component of the universe that's not visible and holds galaxies and galaxy clusters together. We don't know exactly what it is and we haven't directly detected it, at least yet, but we've seen its effect on the density and velocity of ordinary matter. Webb has just started its mission, but it's already helping us understand how the first galaxies were created and how black holes formed and influenced the structure of the universe. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.